Hi, this is Mary Ayers from TapIntoAction.com. And I have been doing some of my own work to manifest a home of our dreams. And this morning, I was looking through an online reality place and I saw this gorgeous home with three acres of land that just made my heart jump. And I was able to watch myself go through the motions of what it would feel like to really, really want something. And I know that this is my year to clear any belief, any limiting belief that I might have so that what I want can come into my life. And I started thinking about it and I went, why don't I just take you on that journey with me? I am sure that there is something that you would like to manifest, that you would like to bring into your life. And when you really look at it, you might have some beliefs behind it that don't really serve you. And we want to clear them. Now, this is not a tapping I will do just one time. I want you to know that. That is not, I, I don't have that belief that I'm going to be able to one and be done. All right. But this is going to be my feel good, open myself up, trust type of tapping. And you might want to do some of that tapping with me. So I want you to think about something that you want in your life. But when you think about it, you can tell that you are not 100% in that solid grounding of it's coming. I trust beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's, that it's coming. And it's okay to be in that space. We just want to recognize it because you probably know from doing the work that you've been doing, manifesting, reading, stuff like this, is we want our energy to be a match with the thing we want. Which usually means that for me, if I was to really think about what would I be saying if I already had it? How would it feel? It's no longer on my want list. It's on my I have it list. I get up in the morning and I look out and I think to myself, oh my God, this is so beautiful. I'm so, so blessed to have this. And so that's the feeling I want. And then I measure how far I am for that from that feeling. Okay, so that's a feeling of gratitude and I want to get there. I know I have it in me because I've know the feeling of gratitude, but right now it is not close by. It is not the energy I'm in. And so when I'm thinking of that home, it's not from that I've got it, I'm so grateful. It's more from a, how's that gonna happen? And when's it gonna happen? And is it ever gonna happen? Is that even a possibility? I don't know how it will happen, okay? Now I know you can relate to those kinds of feelings. So feel it in your body. Think about that thing you want and feel where you are. Are you able to get into the feeling of, I have it already? Which by the way, when we already have something, we're not continuing to ask. So asking itself is an energy. It is not a having feeling. It is a, a, a feeling of grasping, of wanting something, okay? So just feel it, it doesn't matter. It's okay that you have it. I want you to know that. This isn't about I should and I should. It's about softening it. It's about opening it. It's about being able to find that feeling that we want and be living in it more often. Will it happen all the time? I don't know. Let's see. But the fact that it would happen more often is a biggie. So feel that in your body. Get that feeling. I'm going to go in and I'm going to think about that house with that gorgeous land and these beautiful trees. And I can feel it. I can feel that spot in me that goes... I don't know how that's going to happen. I really do not. Okay, and that's it. We're going to start there. So on the karate chop. Even though I don't know how this is going to happen. I have this really big want. This huge desire. And it feels so big. That I don't know how it would ever happen. And I can't feel that sense of having in my body right now. And I'm accepting myself right where I am. Because I know that I can open this up. I can make more space. I can remove some of the obstacles. And I can get in tune with this more and more. 
even though I'm not completely believing. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of disbelief. More than I care to admit. And I'm going to accept myself anyhow. Because I get that I don't have to have all of my belief right now. But I do want to have more of it. And I'm open to having more of it. Even though I saw that house that I want, that land was gorgeous. And I want to live like that so badly. But there's a part of me that says, don't go there. Don't dream that big. You don't want to be disappointed. And when I hear that voice, I think you're right. I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to wake up every day wanting something I don't believe I'm going to get. Who wants that? I certainly don't. But I do want to grow my beliefs. I know that I would be the one who would be stopping that coming from for me because I don't have a big enough belief. And I refuse to stand in my own way. If I can clear it just a little bit more and believe in the possibility of it just a little bit more, every day just a little bit more, then I know something will change. There is no doubt in my mind that if I make that change, something will change. When I think of that house and that beautiful land, I think, can that really, really happen? Can it really, really happen for me? I mean, come on, I'm, I'm wanting something big. I've never had anything that big. Nobody in my family has ever had anything that big. But I'm okay being the first. I have no idea how it could happen. None whatsoever. Oh, I could work hard. <laughs> if I had another 60 years... And I don't, want it, I don't want it to be hard. I want it to come easy. Or easier. And I don't want to do it alone. That's an area where my belief has grown. I know I am not alone. I do know I'm a creator and that that's my work to remove the blocks, all those thoughts of impossibility and open up more space. I don't have to know how. I'm going to work on my when. I can still get a little hung up on that one. And that's okay for me. Because I know I can open up space in that belief. I 
they know that that's a possibility? One, I am not alone. I am not the only one responsible for creating this. And I'm going to continue to work on my level of trust. Because I'm not completely there yet. And you know what? That's okay too. I don't have to have all of it together just yet. And I am willing to show up and do my clearing. And when I do, I open a space for possibility. So when I think of that thing I want, I want to think of it with gratitude. But it's the feeling of gratitude that I want. the having, the feeling of having. And I have that feeling within me. That's already feeling I, a feeling I own. Because I have so much of what I want. I know, I know, I know. I'll always want more. But right now I'm going to focus on having so much of what I've always wanted. I get to live in a beautiful place already. I can feel the presence of something greater in my life. I know what it feels like to feel loved. To have good people around me. To have my heart full of so much pride and happiness and gratitude. All I have to do is focus on those things. And feel it. Feel it everywhere in my body. Feel it in every cell of my body. The feeling of being blessed. And I can do that. Some days I may be able to do it a lot. And it can be really big. And some days it will be smaller. But I'm going to stick with it. More than anything, it's the sticking with it. And drinking in that feeling every time I feel it. To look for moments like that in my life where I feel like I'm in communication with something greater. It could be a sunset. It could be a parking spot. It could be a hug. I'm going to look for more of those times of gratitude and blessed. And I'm going to drink in those feelings because that's the feeling I'll have when I have this thing I want. Take a breath. Here's where we go inside. Okay, you can really feel, is it different? When I think of that house now, there's a piece of me just a little bit more open, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more ease, 
Okay, it's not the whole way. I'm not trying to go the whole way. I'm just doing it for right now. And if I did that, I don't know, three days a week, if you did this three days a week, let's do an experiment. We do this three days a week. Let's see what happens. Let's see what changes for us. Certainly the energy that you walk around in is going to be different. So you have to watch for small changes to be happening. I'm willing to do that experiment. I'm inviting you to do it with me. Let's keep in touch. Subscribe to this YouTube so that you can keep getting these tappings with me. You're also welcome to come over to my website, tapintoaction.com, and get your freebie, ta freebie tapping into success. We're going to keep in touch. I want to hear from you. You can email me at mary at tapintoaction.com and tell me what you're working on, and let's do it together. Let's make this year a breakthrough year. See you soon.